Welcome to Kitchen Countercrafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe? And if you will, hit that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos coming right up. This is the second part to a mini folio. And if you didn't see it in the first video, it's adorable. It's just made with one 12 by 12 sheet. And this is not my idea. It came from Camellia Craft Designs. And I have a link on the first video uh, to her. But really, it's just a 12 by 12 that's folded up and it unfolds into a little folio or a junk journal and you can do it either way and this is almost like a double folio that i made so that's all in more detail in the first video but we're going to use this one as a template for this one that we created in the first video and while this was waiting to dry i went ahead and made a mini journal to just kind of tuck in there and there's really not much to it it's just some blank pages that you can actually use as a journal. And since this one wasn't too fat or too big, I actually could fit it right in here. Can I? Actually, I didn't fit it in there yet. Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. So I went ahead and glued that in. <sighs> Silly me, like glue first or check first, then glue, but it's fine, it's fine. It works, so that's great. And then I was kind of gathering up some things that I wouldn't spend too much time bumbling about on this video. So let's get started. So on this one here, we have a faux um, kind of a pocket here, but it's an actual pocket behind. So instead of that, which I don't have, I'm actually gonna use some of this cardstock from this pad that I purchased from Michaels. And I like to notch the little pockets and I know many people will distress this to just add more dimension so let's go ahead and do that and um, I do it completely the lazy way which is just kind of add and it's just very fast and very subtle so this is just one that I found at a garage sale that I've been using to death and it's still not dying so there you go not bad just a cheapy cheapy pad that's like washable too so anyway not that that matters to me but the price was right let me tell you just a few cents all right so i want to make sure i'm not getting that notch so i just kind of eyeballed it because measuring measuring's hard okay there we go got my pocket so I can put something on this a little bit later if I wanted or just leave it and there's like a little butterfly. I can, you know, kind of, actually I like that. I'm just going to go ahead and add that, but we will distress you first. I didn't really plan on decorating quite yet, but you know, when they're just sitting around and you spot it, you spy it, you might as well just go for it. There we go. Okay. Because then you come back and you're like, oh, what was I going to add? I don't like overthinking. It stresses me out. And the crafting is not supposed to be stressful, I think. I don't think it's supposed to be stressful. All right, this has like a wrap around pocket that is just a piece of paper that I just kind of glued down. And it has an open pocket on this side and another open pocket on this. So if you can see... And then I strengthened it with a little bit of cardstock on top, but we'll tackle that in the momento. So this is gonna be a belly band. So I gathered up my supplies here and just some old paper that I had and a strip that I had from that journal. And then, actually I don't want it cut off. Or do I, will it be better down here? Am I cutting it off up there too? Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna use it the way I had it. So first I'm going to glue this. No, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna do that because I may not want to have that glued down. All right, so carefully, I'm gonna just bend it to where that ends up. Grab this. 
and cut. Now I can glue it. All right. So this whole thing gets glued onto the green sheet. Just kind of centering that. No, no, don't go yet. And then this glue only goes on top and on the bottom. I'm so shaky. Don't know why I'm so shaky. I'm not nervous. Too much caffeine, probably. Hold that down. Great. Okay, so sometimes I forget what's what, so I'll sometimes just kind of put a little placeholder down. And then here, I want to make a uh, envelope, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And this is, I don't think this is a part of decorating, it's just kind of a part of the pocket making, if you will. And so I decided why not just use this same sheet and so there's many, many ways of making a pocket and, or it's one of those, um, what is it called? Like a coin envelope? That's it. So what I do is I just kind of put it on top of the space so that I can figure out how big I want. And I'm going to have this overlap. Okay. Does this make any sense at all? I don't know. Let me show you. Let me show you. No, yes. So I want an overlap here. I'm just gonna put a little bump there. Okay, watch. Watch this. It's gonna be all screwed up. Watch how I screwed this up. Okay. So there it is, and it's a little bit overlapped. It's just like a, what is it? A hot dog fold, burrito fold. All right, just kind of makes me laugh. Oh no, I don't want to glue this yet. No, 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 we don't want to do that yet. All right, so what I do is I actually fold it all up first. So on the top, you're going to have a, and you know, the, where the, the, uh, the fold, the closure, what is it? Envelope, where it seals. Do you call it envelope or envelope? Okay, so this is the top, you know, where you open up. And then this has to get closed up. And so this usually, if you look at a tiny little coin envelope, it'll be, it'll be pretty small. Gosh, I'm not even looking to see if it's straight. There you go straight in straightish. All right. So what I do is I fold this and kind of square it with my nails and then, or you can do it with a bone folder. Yes, you can. And then I'm going to cut this. So it has all the creases and you're going to cut here to the corner. And then I just kind of move my scissor in. There we go. And here, I do the same thing, just kind of cut at a diagonal. And you're gonna see why, because it just looks nicer. And you have little scrappies left here. Scoot them out of the way. So there we go. Look how nice that looks. Okay, and then um, you're gonna do the same thing up here because you have the big envelope flap. So you're gonna do this, cut to this corner. And then I just kind of do a slight curve. No, I don't. I mean, you could just measure it out. I just kind of do it. It'll all turn out fine. It'll be fine. There we go. It's like crafting with reckless abandonment. And then I just trim the teeny tiniest 
amount to get this into a curve. And voila, you have a coin envelope. And the nice thing about this is like, if you are you know, trying to get somebody a, a gift card or something and you don't have anything, if you have paper, you got an envelope. It's like super duper fast. All right, so what I'm gonna do then is punch out a semicircle. And I don't know if you know this, but on your hole punches, there's a little notch right there, like a halfway notch, see it? You can match that up and it's gonna give you a semicircle. And it also has a notch up here so that you have it straight. And look, ha ha. Um, yeah, so I just kind of figured that out not too long ago. So I thought I'd share that because um, I've been paper crafting for a long time now and silly me, didn't even know it. So I just put a tiny little bead of glue here and there. And then just some glue here. And that's it. And you got yourself an envelope just like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make this into a pocket. Yikes. Too far in and super duper shaky. Right, and that's it. So you, if you have an even just some copy paper, you can, you know, coffee dye it and just make a couple of these envelopes and just kind of have them handy. But look how nice and neat that is. Shocking. Actually, I shock myself sometimes because you you really don't have to measure. I mean, I know. There are people out there who like to measure, so you can if you like to do that kind of thing. But if you don't, you can just eyeball it and just call it good. So I I will, um, I think I'm going to use this one. So I'll just cut this. And trim it. I know I'm off camera. There we go. All right, I just wanted to get something in here. Nope, too thick. So these little strips, you can actually kind of glue it right here because um, it'll strengthen and fortify your, your envelope. And if you don't want to do it up there, and I do this, by the way, while the glue's kind of still wet a little bit. I know that's very dangerous, but uh, it, it works for me. So, um, yeah. There we go. So that's a little bit of a cardstockish paper while well, that was just a scrapbook. You can even put it on the inside so it fortifies it more. And then there you have that, okay? So that's just there, again, as a placeholder. So I remember, oh yeah, there's a pocket there because telling ya, I will forget. Okay, so we made a belly band and a pocket. And now we're gonna just do this fold over kind of deal. Okay, so, oh, um, is that what I was gonna do? I was gonna do this pocket here. I don't know now. Do I wanna do a fold over pocket? I mean, I could add a fold over in here. Ah, oh, I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. All right, so, um, hmm, let's see. What we can do is take a look and see what papers we have. So um, one of the things I was gonna use is this little pad and it's got like roses, 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 which I love, love, love. And then um, I just have like bits and pieces of the scraps that I used here. So those look really pretty together. And I'm gonna just show you what I do here. So when I'm using a pad, I just, keep the bits and pieces all here. So this is from that last project, the, the one we're using as a template. 
And um, all of these pages are from this pad. And what I do is I try to like stack them so that I can see that they're all coordinated. And then this way I get to just utilize what I have already kind of cut on. And it's all nice and neat. And I don't know if you do that or not, but it just kind of works for me. Whoa. Um, so, so we will work on that. So I'm going to add some pockets here and I, I don't want to mess up this design. So I think I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use this piece here to make a side pocket. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. So here I have this just a tuck in spot and I'm just going to flip some things around because I want to add this here as a pocket and then I'm going to use that as well. And then this has nothing. I may actually add a pocket here just for this journal because it bothers me that doesn't have any kind of a pocket there. Um, so let me, let me do that. So this is here. I'm not going to go to my cutting thing and cut it. I'm just going to tear it. Uh, I like tear it. No, I'll just cut it like this. That gives me a nice straight enough edge. Yeah, that'll work. And then I'm going to find the middle and just notch it. And I'm just notching it a little because it's going to be too, too much to get it um, the full amount. And then just add a little bit of blue color to this so that it matches that blue background. And then I'm just gonna glue that there. And that'll work because it keeps the roses right there. Oh, okay. When I'm gluing, I've actually glued the wrong side. So what I do is I notch it. That's another reason I notch. And then I hold it where the notch is. So I don't accidentally glue it the wrong way because I zone out um, when I'm crafting or I'll talk or maybe somebody calls and you come back and you're just, I don't know, you've just kind of lost your mind or lost your spot or whatever. And so you can do something like that. Okay, so now I have the roses showing when you open this up and I really like that. Well, it'll get covered up though because I'll have some things tucked in here. Ha -ha. That's correct. But I can do this. I love having a music sheet or two. I think it, they look so pretty. No, no, no. It's picking up the dried up glue. Okay, um, I can have it showing on a different way. All right, still shows, not bad. Now on this side. Let's open this up and you can see some bubbles. It's like terrible wallpaper job, but it's okay. Sometimes the glue just kind of dries and then you're just left with whatever. Ah, oh, yes, I uh, did you see that? I just totally zoned out. All right, so I was gonna use this paper, the pap paper from in here and you can tell that this paper is not big enough to cover all of that. And that's kind of what I had happen here. So it's just a tiny little bit of paper that I had from a notebook actually. And uh, so I ended up using that. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the other part of that paper. Hmm. Could actually use it over here, but okay. Um, like getting distracted again. So I could use that one. Or I can see what's here. That might not be bad. All right, so what I'm looking for is something I can fold up without losing too much of the design. Um, you know what, I still like this. All right, I think I'm gonna go with that. Otherwise, I'm going to be taking forever. So the reason why is because this is just thin paper. 
And if you're making a pocket out of this, it's going to have um, some wear and tear to it. So I try to fortify at least the top part because, you know, that's the, where the in and out part happens. So I'm going to fortify that one. I'm also going to just fortify the bottom a little bit too. And you can actually use some like washi tape or um, masking tape or something like that to fortify. I think that would be good too. But I'm too lazy to go get it. I think I, did I tilt it a little? I did. This is where a scoring board might be helpful. All right, so I'm just doubling up the paper because I don't want it to tear and rip when I um, when I stick stuff in and out. And I think I'm gonna, you know, it's like uh, sewing. I'm gonna double up on this seam here and fold it under. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna glue that. I don't need my my nice stuff. I'm just gonna throw some Elmer's on here. Actually, I could have just glued that too. I just need that more for corners. All right, so let's glue this down. So now it's a nice hefty uh, piece that and I'm just folding it in half because I want to make sure I have it on that seam or as close as I can to it. And then I want to do the same thing I did on the other, which is to indicate that these are kind of open pockets. And the way I do that is by just cutting a tiny little curve on that. Okay, and then you are going to glue here and on the bottom because the sides are going to remain open. Whoa. All right. There we go. And I can maybe set something in here. We'll just fold some papers up right now just to kind of tuck them here and there. Just like that. So, um, let's see. Okay, and then on this side, Um, I need just a triangle. So since I have this, I would really like to use this. Okay, so for a triangle pocket, what you need is a little square. And to make a square, you're just going to take however much um, cardstock or paper you have. You're going to go like that and cut. And when you do that, I'm going to tuck that back in. You have a triangle already. So now you can figure out like, do you want to have it like this where it opens up? Or you can have it like this where it opens up here, which is very nice as well. And so um, my only problem with that is when you tuck things in, they can fall out. So so you have this, it'll fall out of your book. Whereas if you have it here and it opens up, it will fall into your book and at least keep your papers kind of handy. So that's that's how I make my triangle pocket. And since I am adding some distress, we'll distress all of that. I 
There we go. And just like that. So I'm going to hold it here because that's my opening of the pocket again. I have to do these tricks because I will end up gluing the wrong sides. And I've done that in the past. Quite a bit. Again, I like that this glue dries fast, but man, it's kind of scary that this glue dries fast. Okay, so that is in there. And I just need another little piece of paper to just kind of tuck in. And again, not really making the ephemera to fit inside yet, but just putting some pockets and things in here so that you can see how all of those things work. All right, so for this, uh, my pockets are just a little bit off, but, you know, same idea. And then this one was there, and then this is here. And then for this one, I'm actually going to go ahead and add a pocket to that book. I don't want to do that one. I don't want to do that one. I think I'm going to... Now you get two in one here. Aren't you glad? Um... What do I do? I thought I just saw something that would work. Uh, I like this. That's it. Okay, let's cut a little piece. And I'm going to actually just kind of... No, I think I'm going to tuck it on top. Glue it on top. That way it'll solidify those stitches as well. And by the way, I made this junk journal a while ago, so you can, you know, you can always add to your junk journals. There's the pocket, just like that. Don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to glue it down. So I have it. Um, okay, so I just made a little hole punch there. And um, on some of these, these half moons are too small, like that one. And like that one, that's just paper, so that just really needs to get tossed. But on some, they're not so bad. So I I will actually put it down as a little little tabby, so that I can um, I can sh show like somebody else that this lifts up, which is kind of nice. Um, so the little tab just kind of goes up. I don't want it sticking out of the journal too much, but it's just enough to just say, hey, this lifts up. Kind of like the lift a flap book, you know. There you have this, so that could go here. Sure, why not? You know, nothing's wasted. You just use every little tiny bit of scrap that you have. There we go. I usually try to do that. I kind of forgot. Okay, so there's that little indicator that this lifts up. And I actually put some coffee dyed paper in here and had that. So this is an acetate pocket back here with some thread that's making me crazy. There we go. And I don't think I'm going to do that on this one. So I think this one's pretty much done other than the cover. And while the glue was drying, I was trying to figure out what do I want. So I was thinking maybe some of this, and I love this. 
And I love this, so it might look a little bit like that, you know, kind of collaged on there. What do you think? Or I was thinking, actually, I should say, and maybe just a little bit of some words here. I need to make sure I know what it says there. But I think I'm really liking the way that looks. I like that 3D paper flower. I need to just kind of glue little bits of it. So I think I'm really, I'm, I'm leaning towards that quite a bit. So let's go for that. And just kind of collage it down just real quick. So it'll be there. That'll be there. This will be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good. All right. Sometimes you just, I don't know, you never know what it says. And you're just kind of tearing up books. And then you're like horrified as to what's on top of your cover. I had that happen. I don't even remember what it was. It was some book that I got from, I think, a either a thrift store or a garage sale and it had like vicious vomit or something <laughs> on my cover. And I didn't even bother reading. I was like, oh, that looks pretty. And then I put it on there and I was like, ooh, I don't want that on my cover. Anyway, just had to take it off. Actually, I kind of decoupaged over and it was fine. But still, you're kind of a little bit horrified as to what's on there. Not... It's torn, so that's there. And then this will be right there like that. Do I do it like that? No, I don't like it like this. There. Just kind of a little collage for my cover. So I'll glue all that down. And then add a ribbon, probably not that. Let me see. Um, I have this ribbon right here. That'll be the tie. And liter literally, I will just glue that down. And I think I'm gonna do it underneath this so that you can see the ribbon and the paper. Just so pretty. So that's it. I hope you liked the video. Um, let me know what you think. And let me know if you're going to be making some of these. And Mother's Day is coming up. So maybe you can make some something like this. Or like administrative assistance, appreciation, something along those lines. But until the next time, bye.